What's going on YouTube? Just now right here. So in today's video, we're talking about iOS 13.4.1, 13.4 and 13.3.1 jailbreak. What iOS devices you can jailbreak right now with a tool that already exists. And of course, if you don't have any of those compatible devices, what you can expect in the future and also how you can downgrade. This video is brought to you by Wondershare's Dr. Phone Phone Manager, which allows you to transfer photos, videos, music, messages, and so on from your iPhone to computer and vice versa. Check it out in the link below and there's also a special sale available. Now, as you probably know, iOS 13.4.1 at the time I'm making this video is the latest available iOS, which means that if you already updated iOS 13.4.1, you're not able to go back to 13.4 or 13.3.1 or 13.3 and stuff like that. However, it's not all lost. If you are using an iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 5s, you can use the CheckRain jailbreak. For those of you who are new in the community and joined us after CheckRain was released, CheckRain is basically a jailbreak that allows us to jailbreak any iPhone between iPhone 5s to iPhone 10, and of course on any iOS version. It doesn't matter if it's iOS 13.4.1 or 12 or 13.0 or 13.2 and stuff like that. Whatever version gets released, it can be jailbroken automatically with CheckRain because the CheckRain uses an exploit called Checkmate. Which which cannot be patched, so if you do have an iPhone 10 or lower, then you're basically set. You can jailbreak anytime you want, no matter what iOS version Apple releases next. However, the iPhone 10 hasn't been a thing for a while, and neither have been the iPhone 8, iPhone 7, and stuff like that. Nowadays, we have the iPhone 10s Max, 10s, 10R. We have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 11, and of course 11 Pro, and even the iPhone SE 2020 released a couple of weeks ago. So these are not compatible at all with the CheckRain jailbreak. And and I get a lot of questions usually whether the CheckRain will support these devices in the future, the so-called A12 and A13, but no, these will not be supported in the future because the exploit that the whole CheckRain is based on does not support them. So you are stuck waiting for the uncovered jailbreak, which has to be updated for the uh, iOS 13.4, 13.4.1 and stuff like that, and even iOS 13.3.1 because it's currently not supported. However, it's not all lost. For the moment, while you're waiting for a TFP0 kernel exploit on your iPhone 11 Pro or or your iPhone XS Max and stuff like that, you can still run something on 13.4.1 and 13.4. And that is basically Falza Escaped by Bass VT in here. He posted, quote, Falza Escaped 13.4.1 and lower is here. Should support all iPhones and iOS up to 13.4.1. Go to Alt Store and install the IPA with that, Mac and Windows. So basically, this is a file manager that you get from Cydia, the Falza, and it allows you to browse and modify things on the file system. For example, you can modify your applications, your game score, and stuff like that, which normally would require a jailbreak, but it's actually based on a sandbox escape by Sagusa, which of course allows you to have access on the latest iOS versions, even on A12 and A13, which is actually quite cool. However, this is not a jailbreak. This is good while you're waiting for a jailbreak, but it's not a jailbreak, so keep that in mind. For the uncovered to be released, we need a TFP0 kernel exploit. Proteus is known to have a TFP0 kernel exploit. I know I talked about this a lot because this one is a legitimate TFP0 kernel exploit for the the latest version available even on A13 devices so this supports even the iPhone SE 2020 released by Apple a couple of weeks ago on the latest iOS version so this is actually quite massive. Now in the security content Apple has indeed credited on iOS 13.4 multiple times uh, Proteus in here and you can see that there are a couple of kernel vulnerabilities and one of them is coming from Proteus it says in here quote a malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges and it's coming from Proteus of the Quiho 3 16 Nervan team. So basically we do know that this is a legitimate security researcher and we are waiting for the release. Once this exploit is available we can update the uncovered jailbreak and it would support the entire iOS range from iOS 12 all the way up to iOS 13.4.1 which is definitely cool and it will be supported on all devices compared to the check range which only supports iPhone 10 and lower. Now if you want to get a little bit creative with downgrades 80036ND posted a new tool called Restore Mate. This is basically a GUI made for for the uh, future restore, but it allows beginners and people who are not very skilled with the terminal to still be able to perform a restore with saved SHSH blobs, which of course you can get if you use the TSS saver, but if you don't have the blobs, don't even attempt it. I'm going to link it in the description down below. But yeah, that's our recap. That's currently what's going on in the jailbreak community. We do have TFP0 kernel exploit available, but it's not released for the moment. It's actually so powerful that it would allow us to create a jailbreak right away, but we still need to wait for it to be released. As for 
or the uh, files are escaped if you are missing a jailbreak and you want at least some features of a jailbreak on your latest 13.4.1 files are escaped in here supports that even on 8.12 and 8.13 and if you want to jailbreak your device completely with CDM if you have iPhone 10 or lower check rain does support iOS 13.4.1 check rain supports iOS 13.4.1 13.4 13.3.1 and so on with no problem and with CDM so that's basically it with our recap thank you for watching this is basically what's going on till next time check out our jailbreak central forum available at jailbreak.fc365.info where you can ask questions and of course check out the latest jailbreak news thank you for watching i am geos now till the next time peace out